running a bunch of kind of filler sets here. So it's just an area that I got to go through this road to get into the next place that I had uh, that I've set up in. And, and I, I wanted to get into because there's some virgin timber in there that uh, hasn't hasn't been gone into yet. Um, there's a little brook here and it's kind of been harvested all along this brook on this road system and uh, Just you know a little spot here little grover trees and I popped a set in here uh, I probably don't have any I just checked one a minute ago uh, With nothing in it. And I got I don't know four or five of these that are just kind of filling the space here because uh, I don't know I just figure why why drive by them you could catch a martin in them so there it is just Simple uh, little set here, a um, little bit of bait, a little bit of lure in this grove, and you never know. I check a bunch of these and you may catch a martin. I got one earlier today in a spot like that. There's just a, a set that I threw in and there happened to be a martin go through, so you never know. This is a spot in between a couple of old cuts and what's pretty cool is I've got the Onyx Hunt app on my phone here that I use. I've got all my trap locations on it. But anyway, when I'm going to set out, I can see all the old cuts. Uh, well, at least where the aerial photos have been mo more recently updated. And uh, there's a there's a cut just beyond here. And there's a cut back behind here. And you can see on, on the app, uh, on the aerial photos, you can see this strip of trees here that was left behind. And I just threw a trap in here. Let's see. We can check it real quick. You can see there's quite a bit of cover here for a martin. A lot of different habitat, little micro niches and stuff. And little hollow logs and places for mice to hide. There's our set. Not set off, nothing touched it. So, all right, on we go to the next one. Every other year here in the Northeast, we get these uh, hardwood mast crops. And uh, typically in this area, it's beech nuts. And so when you have those high beech nut years, you know, one year we'll have a real big boom. The next year we'll have a bust. And uh, when the bust years are good martin trapping years because there's not much feed available. Martin will eat nuts. Martin will eat the squirrels and voles and everything else that's around the nuts. Um, so this year is a high nut year. And there's a lot of food available. So... The martin are, are, in theory, they should be spending, you know, there's no hard and fast rules, but they should be spending more time in the hardwood ridges uh, feeding and, and chasing chasing feed and stuff. So anyway, I try to mix it up a little bit, try to set a little more of the hardwoods this year, uh, but I'm setting all habitat types. This is kind of a mixed wood ridge. There's, there's a fair little bit of hardwood in it um, mixed in with some spruce and fir. And uh, there's my set. Nothing touched it today, but... He's in a pretty good spot. I like these high knolls. Um, there's a lot of lower ground. A lot of times the martin will run and, and hit these high areas so they can see uh, see a large portion of the area to hunt. And also, uh, I can smell my lure here. It's actually, yeah, there I get my LDC lure here on the, the lamb. I'm not using as much lure uh, early in the season because the weather's a little warmer. I'm, well, I'm not using as much long distance call. I'm not using as much skunk using a skunk skunk type lure at only about a third of the sets right now i'm also using more of a uh, a sweet lure and a, a sort of a perfumey type lure uh, for for a third of my sets each at this point and just trying things out see what what happens to work and as we move later in the season we'll probably move to some stinkier lures to uh, kind of try to get some more uh, attraction there at the sets so all right moving on all right, this spot is uh, a real uh, thick stand of spruce mostly, a little bit of fur in it too. And I don't usually have good luck with these. So we get a lot of mixed wood and hardwood on the ridges there. And then we got this stand of just all one species. And I, I can't help myself. I always make sets in these. Um, I know guys up in Alaska and Canada, you know, they get a lot of areas that all they have is spruce and they seem to do pretty all right on martin the martin seem to to do well there um here they don't seem to come from these areas as much uh, of course we all have our theories on on the reason for that a lot of areas like this are plantations i don't i don't think this one's a plantation but it could be um, but what i see here is there's not a lot of very habitat variability there's nothing on the ground see it's all kind of uniform this is what the plantations look like they get thinned and 
stuff and uh, yeah they just kind of don't have much here so there's not much for food um, the martin just don't seem to be in here they seem to be more in the hardwoods uh, but occasionally you'll catch them in here so I always try to mix it up and throw a set in there's my box um, nothing touched it this time around but we'll keep it running there and you never know they could be traveling through here um, one thing we have differently here that other places with Martin don't have so much you know if I was in Montana I would have caught you know I've caught Martin and stuff like this but uh, we got Martin's got his, his bigger cousin the Fisher chasing him around all these woods in a lot of places and I think uh, not having cover and places to get away from fishers might impact that's kind of my little theory why uh why martin don't do as well in this type of forest up here in, in maine but anyway i could be wrong been wrong before most of the time so more traps to check so this is just down the hill from that spruce uh sp spruce plantation or spruce thicket that i made a set in up up there up top of the hill and this is kind of just a little small trickle of a stream valley and there's some bigger hardwood in here some mixed wood oh, i made a set in here there's my flag nice little spot here i like it if i was a martin i'd be in here but i'm not a martin if i was a martin i'd be able to trap them better i'd know where they are let's see it doesn't look like anything's touched this set but look at this spot I like it. Nothing today. Some squirrel tracks. We get squirrels all over the place around here. Lots of food. Probably going to be tough getting Martin in the boxes this year. So this is the first place on my line where I've seen actual evidence of somebody else having trapped here before. Been actually pretty fortunate. I, I just don't see a lot of sign of other trappers the last couple of years. I, I'm you know, I'm happy about that, I guess. Uh, I hate, at first, uh, early on, I wanted to find a place of my own that no one would be, and I, I started running into trappers, and I realized, you know what? People are going to be everywhere. You just got to get over it and make your sets and work hard and, and enjoy yourself. So I did, and since I did that, I've been fortunate, I guess, and haven't, haven't had much for competition, really. But uh, that can always change. So this is an older uh, older timber harvest here. There's a bunch of fresh harvest, fresh harvest around it. But this little spot here, just a little clump of spruces, kind of in the middle, and we get a bunch of hardwood all around there behind my truck, and off on that ridge. And when I come in here the other day to put my box in, I see uh, some stuff on the ground that looked like another trapper had been here. And there it is. I've seen this guy's evidence before. It's an uh, old onion bag that they used to put the bait in. And you see the wire there on this pole and see the nails? Those nails were used to clamp the trap down on. And so this was back probably five, six years ago. The regulations required us to use those leaning poles. So that would have been leaning up against one of these trees and it had to be four inches or less in diameter. That's about a two and a half, three and a half inch diameter pole there. And so, so I know that that was quite old. That was five, at least five, six years, I would, I would guess. Um, who knows? They, they maybe have been trapping in here since, but uh, if so, I haven't seen evidence of it. A lot of people stop trapping when they've required us to use these boxes, these exclusion devices. But there's my box. Um, yeah, so I guess me and that other trapper were thinking the same thing because we came in right in the exact same spot. I put my box like 10 feet from where I... I uh, I saw his bag there, but anyway, nothing today. Definitely loving my truck so far, my trapping truck. Uh, last year, I was on the line with my Ford Ranger, my 20-year-old Ford Ranger, and uh, boy, it was struggling. I broke down on it a couple years ago, and then last year, I was just limping along and struggling, and I was always nervous I was going to break down. It was frustrating. Boy, this is pretty sweet. I bought this truck this summer, and, and uh, my goal was to have a truck that was I could trap with. And that was that was when I was shopping. I it, it had to be a trapping truck, and and I luckily found one 
the prices were so high, but this one, fortunately, we had quite a bit of damage there to the body, which made it about $2,500 cheaper. So I was able to pick it up for a reasonable price. Hopefully it, it, uh, it did good through coyote season and beaver trapping and now setting up Martin. So, uh, man, I'm excited. It's nice having a good truck to trap out. We're in virgin territory now. This is a brand new road from uh, this summer or maybe last summer. Um, or last winter anyway new road system into an area that hasn't been harvested or visited by man probably last 70 years since about the 1950s maybe so yeah I just popped a trap in down here see if I can here's my flag on this little stream bottom some thick cover There it is, nothing touched yet. But yeah, the next few sets we check here will be on some new virgin country, so we'll see what's here. Let's see what we got in here on this new road. I'm probably, this has been uh, four days since the beginning of the season. I'm probably only gonna have this around for 10 or 12 and then move these all these traps and move on to another place, so. Uh, it's early in the season and they're not Martin typically don't come into the, the baits as easily this time of year but So I may not catch anything in here even though there's probably quite a lot of Martin in this area um, Doesn't mean they're gonna get caught right off All right, what's oh oh that trap's been set off that trap has been set off, all right. Let's hope there's something in it. Mm. Nothing. Something grabbed the bait, probably a weasel. Grabbed the bait and set the trap off. Trap's just got a little bit of leftover bait in it, so yeah, we'll reset it. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of my beaver meat. So there, probably a weasel. He's pulling some bait out, trying to yank the bait out, and bait set the trap off. So, it's all right, good, that happens. Maybe we'll have them next time. Brand new road into this nice mature hardwood country. This big hardwood ridge. Um, set my Martin box in here, hoping they'd be hanging out on the hardwood. I know there's Martin in this country. Will they come to the bait? Eh, we'll see. Um, this is just beautiful. Got to enjoy this while I can because this this ridge just kind of drops off the face of the earth here down in this steep, steep valley. Beautiful uh, trout brook down in the bottom of it. But uh, this will be cut probably in the next oh, two to three years. This will be completely different territory um, be big clear cuts would be some stuff will be left around but uh, it'll be it'll change so trying to enjoy it while I can can't get too upset about it because there's a road in there that I can get my truck in on the trap and that roads there for uh, timber to be harvested so be a little hypocritical to fuss too bad about it when the only reason I'm able to get in here is that road um, but anyway it'd be kind of cool to have like a little network like i was in alaska you know like those guys in canada you could cut trails through this stuff and some of the old tote roads and run a trap line on snowmobile through you know this uh probably fifty thousand acres of this contiguous hardwood ridge area right just around me that'd be pretty sweet but that's dreaming so anyway we'll go over this set here this is i like this spot i think i think i'll have a martin here at some point um i I'm, oh, the trap is fired off, look at that. All right, so let's, uh, the earlier, uh, I don't think we got anything. I don't think there's anything in there. The, the previous set was fired off as well. Oh, maybe a few weasels in here, yeah. yeah there's uh, there's some bait in the, in the jaws of the trap, so another weasel.
maybe the same weasel that was at that other trap 100 yards away. Um, probably tried, they, they run around, they try to, Martin could do it occasionally, but not. No, 120, not very often. Probably uh, tried to pull the bait out and bait set off the pan, that county pan, and boom. So we'll reset it. Maybe next time we'll get something. This is kind of a neat little spot. I'm off this new road, and you can see a cut in the side of the hill, which is the old road from way back in the day. And that, um, it's possible they were logging this with horses when this road was in, but probably some of the first cable skidders um, going into the woods at this time. I don't know exactly how old this is, but it's probably from the 40s or, or so. So yeah, right on that old road bed. Kind of cool following these. Most of them are have so much junk in, in them. The trees blow into them and stuff. and You can't follow them very far, but they're kind of neat. Um, so I set my trap right on this old road bed. Here. You know, the critters probably, probably use this nice flat ground to travel on. There it is. Nothing touched it. So... All right, we will uh, we will carry on. Last trap of the day. This is a nice little interesting spot. We're kind of on a divide on near the top of this, top of these hills or mountains. We call them mountains here, but you call them hills most other places, I guess. But it's kind of a divide, and there's a little drainage here. There's a a beaver flowage down in here. Ooh, what's that? Some fresh tracks. I'll oh, just squirrel. So there's a beaver flowage that looks like it's just starting to freeze over. It's old abandoned beaver lodge. And a lot of times Martin will hang out on the edges of these. There's a lot of feed on the edge of the water and stuff. Nice pretty country. There's my box. I don't think I got anything. Looks like the trap's still in position, but that's okay. All part of trapping. Nice spot to end the checking for the day, though. Alright, nothing today. But maybe we'll get them next time. Beautiful, beautiful spot. So we had 38 traps. And got two Martin today. A couple of traps fired off. Uh, probably weasels, I would guess. But two Martin, 38 traps. Early in the season, I'm four days. Four day check. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. So anyway, I got a dozen boxes and we're going to set some more. Um, go find another area with Martin Habitat. Probably move uh, down to a different road system, different area, different drainage maybe. And uh, go set some more traps so we got more to check next time around. All right. Thanks for following along here. I'll we'll go back. Maybe I'll go show you those Martin. Probably going to put all these videos together so you've probably seen them already if you're watching this but it just looks like nice martin country where i was last year there was so much uh timber harvest and most of it and it was just a different type of forest and i was getting there were more martin there were more fisher than there were martin so this year I tried to set in some real high country that was more mature forest, hadn't been cut as much, nearly as much, and tried to get away from the fissure a little bit. Um, we'll see how that goes, but we can always get fissure later on. So, at these Martin in the crate here, because I kind of don't want them to get all snowy and frozen and mess up fur. There they are. Ain't the nicest Martin in the world, but yeah, we'll take them. Not too bad. Paid for the gas anyway. Had a good day.